The NDA has picked Jagdeep Dhankar as their vice presidential candidate with a public service career spanning three decades. Jagdeep Dhankar currently serves as the governor of Bengal, a post that he has held since 2019. He has been dubbed by the BJP as Kisan Putra and the people's governor. Prime Minister Modi tweeted that Jagdeep Dhankar is a man known for his humility. He also said that Dhankar brings with him an illustrious legal, legislative and gubernatorial career and has always worked for the well-being of farmers, youth, women and the marginalized. The last day for nominations is the 19th of July and the elections to pick the country's next vice president will be held on the 6th of August. सभी नामों पर गौर करने के बाद हम सब लोग और भारतीय जनता पार्टी की संसदीय बोर्ड इस निष्कर्ष पर पहुंची है कि उपराष्ट्रपति पद के लिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी और एनडीए के प्रत्याशी के रूप में हमारे किसान पुत्र श्री जगदीप धनकर जी को हम उपराष्ट्रपति पद के लिए अपना प्रत्याशी के रूप में घोषित करते हैं। My colleague Arun Thata is joining us live from Delhi. Arun, can you tell us more about what led to the NDA picking Jagdeep Dhankar as their vice presidential pick? Well, see, uh, Jagdeep Dhankar, uh, you know, is somebody who. Uh, you know, does not only bring the administrative experience with him, but, uh, you know, the caste combination, that also seemed to be working in favor of BJP. A, he comes from a dominant uh, Jat community, also, uh, you know, uh, has been serving as a governor of uh, West Bengal and a very senior lawyer in the Supreme Court. So he knows uh, the legalities and the constitution. So that is something which is going uh, to work in favor of uh, the BJP. And uh, you know, it, was a, it was a very, very surprising move for all of us yesterday when we were uh, waiting for that uh, parliamentary boards meeting to get over as to who was uh, going to be the NDA's uh, nominee for the vice presidential post. And when BJP chief JP Nadda announced him uh, as Kisan Putra, you know, uh, that's something when we realized that uh, the push which uh, BJP wanted to give uh, is that, uh, you know, they're giving this space to somebody who has come from a rural background, uh, who's a farmer, uh, and also, you know, uh, through this move, they're somehow trying to gain the confidence back of the farmers, because we had seen the kind of protests uh, which uh, uh, farmers did in different borders of uh, Delhi. However, the government had taken back the farm laws, but still government feels that the, the confidence is not fully back with the government. So this move will also augur some good results for the, uh, for the BJP. That's what they think. Apart from that, Rajasthan will also go to polls next year. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, the messaging will also be uh, very uh, good from the BJP side. Uh, and of course, as I uh, earlier spoke about uh, the role which is going to play in Rajya Sabha, because that is something which is going to be very, very crucial. Uh, in Rajya Sabha, opposition parties have good numbers to manage those MPs to, you know, uh, make them you know, to let that let the house function uh, properly. That's something which all uh, are going to be huge responsibilities on the shoulder of Jagdeep Dhankar. And therefore, he is a suitable candidate because he knows the law, he knows the legalities, he knows the constitution. So it will not be a difficult task for uh, the, you know, Rajya Sabha chairman because he is also ex officio, uh, you know, uh, the chairman of Rajya Sabha. So he is going uh, to have a... Uh, you know, very, very important role in Rajya Sabha uh, for the government. And apart from that, of course, the messaging, the political messaging which they wanted to send out, that has also uh, gone uh, well. And thank you so much for giving us all of those details. Now let's quickly listen in to some reactions that are coming in on the story. Bharti Janta Party ki Lok Sabha aur Rajya Sabha. Dono mein atha majority hai. वाइस प्रेसिडेंट के चुनाव में सिर्फ राज्यसभा और लोकसभा के लोग ही मेंबर्स ही वोट देते हैं इसलिए उनका उम्मीदवार वाइस प्रेसिडेंट जीत ही जाएगा इसमें कहीं कोई दो राय नहीं है लेकिन जिसको उन्होंने उम्मीदवार बनाया है वो इस आधार पे नहीं बनाया कि वो कोई कॉम्पिटेंट आदमी है वो कोई देश के हित में है वो जो भी फैसला करते हैं वो 
भारतीय जनता पार्टी के हित में सिर्फ राजनीतिक फैसला है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी को इससे क्या फायदा पहुंचेगा देखिए बंगाल पश्चिम बंगाल की वो शासन प्रशासन के साथ उन, उन्होंने जो संविधान के रक्षक के रूप में कार्य कार किया उसको हम लोग याद रखते हुए उनका जो अपलिफ्टमेंट हो रहा है देश की इतना बढ़िया पोस्ट पर उसको अभिषेक हो रहा है इसके लिए पूरा बंगाल में पश्चिम बंगाल में खुशी का लहर है आज बीजेपी लेजिस्लेचर पार्टी का प्रेसिडेंशियल चुनाव के लेकर मीटिंग था वहाँ भी हम लोग रेजुलेशन पारित किया प्रधानमंत्री जी और हमारी पार्टी के अध्यक्ष नड्डा जी को हम लोग धन्यवाद दिया इस बारे में हमारे पार्टी 21 जुलाई चार बजे शाम को एक मीटिंग बुलाए हैं जिनमें सभी संसद गण रहेंगे इसके अलावा हमारे पार्टी के जो वरिष्ठ नेता है लोग नेता लोग भी रहेंगे और उस समय जो निर्णय लिया जाएगा कि हम लोग कैसे संसद में कौन सी मुद्दा हम उठाएंगे और उपराष्ट्रीय चुनाव के उपराष्ट्रपति चुनाव के बारे में हमारा पार्टी का क्या भूमिका होगी ये निर्णय लिया जाएगा हमारे नेत्री सुश्री ममता बनर्जी के निर्देश पर all right now shifting focus after several rounds of talks that ended in a stalemate india and china are all set to hold the 16th round of core commander talks at moldo today the talks will begin at 9:30 a.m. on the indian side at the trishul moldo meeting point and the 16th round of talks comes as part of efforts by both nations to take forward the stalled process of disengagement and de-escalation in eastern ladakh Now my colleague Abhishek Jha who tracks the NEA is joining us to give us more details on the line. Abhishek what I wanted to ask you is essentially that the Dalai Lama during his visits to Jammu and Ladakh earlier this week he made some remarks on China and India China tensions is that likely to figure in these talks that are being held today? Uh so uh, we are not sure by about uh, because the uh, Dalai Lama uh, some dip, mostly uh, whenever there is certain visit uh is diplomatic corps of china that reacts to the dalai lama's visit uh, this talk that is going to happen between india and china is essentially military commander level talk where they are uh, likely to discuss about the disengagement along the eastern ladakh uh, sector uh, where both the side have amassed thousands of troops and heavy weaponry over the field over the last two years ever since the galwan clash has happened aisha this is uh, the 16th round of, of commander level talk that is happening after a gap of four months Uh, and that is again going to discuss disengagement in eastern and southern sector uh, so uh, this talk also which is happening on the indian side uh, is happening in the background of actual affair jay shankar meeting wang yi on the sidelines of g20 in bali last week where both sides have discussed the issues of border row and uh, they have uh, reviewed the progress and the indian side has uh, raised the issue of that the disengagement process should be completed at earliest so this is a, this is the background in which the commander level talk is happening and uh, like uh, it so so far there has been 16 uh, 15 uh, rounds of talk and this is the 16th round of talk, of talk that is happening today and uh, any any concrete any concrete decision that the two sides reach or not will be able to uh, know the some uh, information after the meeting uh, comes out Uh, which will be uh, somewhere around uh, around uh, late evening okay abhishek i also want to bring in our colleague tejinder on the line to give us details on this story now tejinder what i wanted to ask you is can you tell us give us more details about why that trishul point has been chosen as the meeting point i uh, see uh, the, 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 this has to be symbolic uh, if you see uh, in earlier meetings also there have been uh, a meeting uh, meetings which uh, which take place on either the chinese side or uh, or the indian side uh, this is the meeting the 16 round it is taking place after a gap of uh, four months the last meeting was also held on the indian side which is the chushol moldo meeting point uh, it was held on 11th of march uh, this year and now uh, after a gap of 
almost four months this meeting is uh, happening. You see, uh, there are still many friction points on which uh, this uh, disengagement process has not happened. And we have seen that in the past two years, both the sides, be it India or uh, the Chinese side, they have hardened uh, their stand. Uh, we are told that in today's meeting, uh, the focus would be on uh, the disengagement at patrolling point 15, uh, which is in the uh, Gogra hot spring area. Uh, the efforts would also be to discuss disengagement from Demchok and Depsang. These are the areas uh, which uh, uh, have uh, been the friction points between uh, both these sides. Uh, uh, you know, last week uh, there have been a, a meeting between Indian Foreign Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar and a Chinese, Chinese counterpart Wang Yi. Uh, and both of them, they said uh, that they want disengagement of troops in order to restore peace and tranquility in border areas along the LAC uh, between India and China. And we have seen that uh, now this friction, uh, this uh, 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 standoff between India and China is entering its third year. In the 2020 uh, uh, clash in the Galwan Valley was one of the bloodiest uh, clashes between the PLA and the Indian side in which we lost uh, 20 of our brave hearts and the Chinese side also absolutely. suffered uh, significant casualties. Uh, we are, uh, absolutely. I, Jinder, I just want you to request you to stay with us because we have some breaking news coming in now. A Pakistani drone was spotted in the Manguchak area of Samba International Border. It was flying from Chachwal to Manguchak area of Samba. This is where it was. And the drone was spotted for around 15 minutes at a height of 300 meters. Security forces are launching searches today in the area. Now I'm crossing back over to my colleague Tejinder to give us more details on this. Tejinder, what can you tell us about this Pakistani drone which was spotted? Uh, you see, uh, this drone was spotted uh, last night in the Manguchak area near the international border in the Samba Center. And uh, as you pointed out, that uh, this drone was flying from the Chachwal area to the Manguchak area. In the recent past, we have seen several instances of Pakistan using drones uh, and hexacopters to push in arms, ammunition, or narcotics into the Indian side. Soon after this drone was spotted, uh, the security forces, uh, they, they kept a track of it and uh, this drone was at a height of 300 meters and it was uh, well within the Indian side of the international border. Uh, when uh, the security forces could act, uh, this uh, drone went back into uh, the Pakistan territory and now, Aisha, as we are speaking, a massive search operation is already underway in the Mangucha area where the SOG uh, the BSF, uh, they have launched a search operation to find out whether this drone was successful in dropping any consignment on the Indian side. Uh, uh, also, yesterday there was a drone that was spotted, a Pakistani drone that was spotted near the line of control in the Mender sector, uh, wherein uh, the army jawans they fired several rounds at that drone and it uh, went uh, back into the Pakistani territory. Also, a search operation was uh, launched in the area to find if this, uh, that drone was able to drop any consignment, but uh, there was uh, no consignment that was recovered. So right now, as we are speaking, in the Manguchak area, a massive search operation is underway by the Special Operation Group of the Jammu and Kashmir Police and the BSF to find out if the drone has uh, been able to drop any consignment. Uh, Pakistan side, because of the heightened mm -hmm. vigil along the line of control and the international border, okay. has been using drones to push in weapons and narcotics okay. into the Indian side. Yes, I share. All right, Ajinda, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us all of those details on this latest breaking input. Now we have some more breaking news coming in. A group of at least 15 assailants allegedly attacked a 15-year-old boy inside of the emergency ward of the civil hospital in Ludhiana with a sharp-edged weapon, killing him. Now, as per the FIR, the incident occurred in the presence of doctors, nurses and patients when the group of assailants carrying swords and axes in, the, in their hands attacked the youth. Now I'm crossing over to my colleague Rohit Gore to give us more details on this. Rohit, this is a very disturbing incident because this is a 15-year-old girl who was This is a 15-year-old girl who was attacked. What can be the motivation? What are the details? Are
जी बिल्कुल आयशा मैं आपको बताना चाहूंगा कि ये लुधियाना का सरकारी हॉस्पिटल है सिविल हॉस्पिटल जैसे कहा जाता है और यहाँ पर आए दिन ऐसे कई वाक्य देखने को मिलते हैं लड़ाई झगड़ा अमूमन सिविल हॉस्पिटल में होते हैं पर ऐसा बड़ा वाक्य कभी नहीं हुआ है कि सिविल हॉस्पिटल के इमरजेंसी में लड़ाई झगड़ा हुआ और एक एक शख्स की मौत हो गई और यही नहीं दूसरी तरफ इन तस्वीरों में आप साफ तौर पर देख सकते हैं कि किस तरीके से गुंडागर्दी लुधियाना में बढ़ चुकी है लॉ एंड ऑर्डर की स्थिति बिगड़ती हुई नजर आ रही है और साथ ही साथ नौजवान जो हैं वो दो गुटों के लोग लो थे दरअसल ये मामला दो गुटों का है दो आपसी रंजिश के चलते हुए दो गुटों के लोग पहले अपने मोहल्ले में लड़ते हैं लड़ने के बाद वो अपना मेडिकल करवाने के लिए लुधियाना के सिविल हॉस्पिटल पहुंचते हैं सिविल हॉस्पिटल में जब एक गुट का शख्स अपना मेडिकल करवा रहा होता है तो तभी दूसरे गुट के लोग तेज आर हथियारों से उसके ऊपर आकर हमला कर देते हैं और जिसके चलते उसकी मौके पर ही मौत हो जाती है तो ये सवाल प्रशासन के ऊपर भी खड़े होते हैं और जो यहाँ पर और इसमें एक चीज मैं आपको खास बताना चाहूंगा कि इस वाक्य को जब ये वाक्य हुआ तब पुलिस अधिकारी भी वहां पर मौके पर मौजूद थे क्योंकि सिविल हॉस्पिटल में ही पुलिस चौकी जिसे कह सकते हैं एक छोटा पुलिस स्टेशन भी बना हुआ है और उस पुलिस स्टेशन में दो से तीन पुलिस अधिकारी उस समय मौजूद थे जब ये वाक्य हुआ तो पुलिस के सामने ये सारा वाक्य हुआ इसलिए बार बार कहा जा रहा है कि इस इससे जो पुलिस प्रशासन के ऊपर एक सवालिया निशान खड़ा हो चुका है कि पुलिस प्रशासन आखिर कर क्या रहा है आयशा रोहित शुक्रिया हमें वो डिटेल्स देने के लिए नाउ विद दिस वेरिंग इनटू वेरी शॉर्ट ब्रेक बट स्टे विद अस